Hey everybody, it's Buzz. Here's your instant reaction. Three things, FC Dallas versus FC Cincinnati. First of all, they've won six games on the road now in a row. Uh, that's a really, really good team. Even depleted, they're better than Dallas and they know how to win games. So that's why you got those all you did. Uh, number one, man of the match. I was kind of conflicted. I had a couple of different guys. And in the end, I'm going to go with Logan Farrington. And the reason I am is because Cincinnati thought he was Dallas' best player. He was fouled six times. That's twice as much as anybody else on FC Dallas. So that tells you the other team thought he was the danger guy. And I actually thought he was pretty good anyway. Uh, so that clinched the bill for me. I'm making Logan Farrington man of the match. Number two, man, I love the kids. Play the kids. Uh, Nolan Norris, uh, Tyree Scott. Thomas Pondeca. It doesn't even matter how any of them played. It's just fantastic to get them in there and get some kids in the game. This is the bread and butter of this franchise. I loved, loved, loved seeing that. And number three, look, take out Jesus, don't start Musa, and you don't get normal SC Dallas. They had 15 shots and they had more possession than Cincinnati. That all sounds great, right? But 15, 16 shots and only two of them on goal. They weren't as patient as usual. They didn't take it in and get a better shot. And they weren't clinical in terms of on target to shot ratio. 15 to 2 is not a good ratio. That's not the normal FC Dallas way. So, yes, younger guys were playing, but those guys need to learn how to get better, cleaner opportunities. Uh, and that was a big part of uh, Brian McBride talked about a bunch of the broadcast. Uh, poor finishing in front of that. But that's your instant reaction. Three things, FC Dallas versus FC Cincinnati. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the game. I just enjoyed some fireworks in the city of Arlington down the street. Uh, we'll talk again soon.